This is Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest today is Jim Patterson. He is the chair of the Board of Supervisors in San Luis Obispo County. He's running for re-election. That election is held in June. And I want to speak with you about water. As you know, at the end of the last decade, the state of California was suffering from quite a drought. It felt like we were coming out of that drought, but now we've seen less water off the Sierras. You're focused on groundwater right now in San Luis Obispo County. What can you tell us about the groundwater situation? Well, um, Brad, we have a number of different groundwater supplies in San Luis Obispo County. We have a large basin in the southern part of the county called the Santa Maria Basin. Mm -hmm. In the northern part of the county, we have the Paso Robles Groundwater Basin, which actually goes up uh, into Monterey County. Oh, right. And a lot of the uh, users in that basin include the uh, communities of San Miguel, Paso Robles, Templeton, and Atascadero, and then all the rural landowners uh, out east of Paso Robles, uh, the areas of Creston mm -hmm. and Shandon, um, and then, of course, the uh, vineyards that uh, cover a huge acreage in out there. In so many ways, I mean, you know, they talk about you don't fight for gold, you fight for water in California. Yeah. And there's no doubt that the issue of groundwater has become very uh, contentious for a variety of reasons. One, it's seen as the future. Mm -hmm. And two, we want to make sure we don't overuse it. Right. And so exactly. you're looking at that question of how do we make sure that, I guess the term is, we hit our perennial yield. Right. That we pull out just enough, but not too much. Right. And that that's the... Uh, situation that we are trying to manage in the Paso Robles groundwater basin. We're reaching the safe annual yield or the perennial yield of that basin. And what we're seeing, Brad, is in some areas over that basin, we're having significant well level drops over the last several years. And they've dropped as many as uh, or as much as 70 to 100 feet. And is that as a result of drought, lack of rain, or as a result of humans taking too much? Well, this is over a period of time, and that's how you measure the basin. It's got to be over time, because if you suggested there's periods of drought and then periods right. of above average rainfall, so it fluctuates. But these um, drawdowns are over a period of about 15 years. So, so what it's, does that say to you? It mean, Well, we're pulling out too more much. water than is going back in in certain areas, but we still haven't reached that safe annual yield of the basin. We're approaching it. And what we've done is we've assembled stakeholders, people that use that water, that live over that basin or rely on that basin. They've come together to put a management plan together, and the board just adopted that last week. And what that will do is give people some guidelines on how they can reduce their, their usage. The important thing is that we don't go into overdraft. We don't draw more out than the safe annual yield over a period of time because that's when the courts step in, the basin gets litigated, and they take control. We want to maintain control. What's oh. happened in South County mm -hmm. is we have that basin um, has been litigated and um, the users of that basin have spent a tremendous amount of money over the past several years um, to determine how much different stakeholders can use. And, and so, so what have they deal. learned? Well, are, are they at a at a medium right now where well, they're pulling out? They have an area over the Napomo Mesa in San Luis Obispo County, and again, that basin actually um, goes north into San Luis Obispo County and into southern. Mm. Um, Northern uh, Santa Barbara? Well, Northern Santa Barbara County, yeah. It goes south mm. of our uh, county line. And we have a large depression over the Napomo Mesa area, and so therefore we are pulling out more in that area. Okay. So we're going to import water. Stay in touch on that issue. It's important. Yeah. His name is Jim Patterson, Chair of the Board of Supervisors in San Luis Obispo County. I'm Brad Palmers. Thanks for joining us. Back to HLS. Hello. I'm Senator Sam Blakesley. And I'm County Supervisor Paul Teixeira. Have you heard of the Children's Resource Network of the Central Coast? They provide free clothes, toiletries, and school supplies to homeless and migrant children. Please help, because when you invest in the lives of these children, you invest in their future and our future as a community. To learn more about how you can help, please visit our website today.